there's a lot more energy in the marketplace and this has resulted in some fantastic growth. We've seen the property prices rise around 13% over the last 12 months and the rental returns looking at around 20%. Average days is also down to 16 across Perth. This was out to 79 pre-COVID. I think it's a great time to sell if you're looking to cash out or more importantly, upgrade to that dream suburb or dream home. The average days on market, as I mentioned, is down to 16. Properties on market sitting between 8,000, 8,500. So it's very competitive amongst buyers. This will not remain for that long, I do not think, and we expect to see a rise of properties come to market early next year. Well, without a doubt, first home buyers are back into the marketplace and for good reason. Many circumstances, it's cheaper to buy than rent in the Perth property market. The other one they're competing with is the Eastern States investors. In fact, around 50% of my inquiry at the moment and my database are Eastern States based buyers. Without a doubt, the most in-demand properties are great family homes, especially ones with great presentation. Properties with workshops or side access are always popular, and the Eastern States investors, without a doubt, are really favouring those properties that are subdividable, typically a three by ones on around 700 square metres. Unfortunately, much like last year, land is the most challenging type of property to sell. Uh, this goes purely for the fact that the costs and the turnaround times to finish your product have really blown out. Uh, the established market's going really well, so a lot of people favouring that. When it comes to development sites, properties that actually have a house on them that can be rented out while people go through approvals are moving well, but vacant development sites are still very stagnant. I do believe we're going to see growth, but probably not to the same rate we've seen over the last 18 months. The good thing for WA is we have a lot of investors looking here, a lot of young families, which probably leads to the fact we're the second highest immigration state at the moment around the country. Uh, so looking forward, very positive out there, but if you'd like more information about your particular scenario, please feel free to give me a call or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook and I'll be happy to help. Mm -hmm.